Yes, I know. Because the prosecution will be handled by me. Ryan, if you act surprised in this moment, I will bury you. F*** you. <laughs> but you! <laughs> but... But... All sorts of conferences have been taking place around the world to coincide with the great exhibition. And next month, the largest and most important of them, uh, mo largest and most important of them all, will take place at last. The International Forensic Science Symposium. Ifs. It does seem though, it does seem as though criminal investigation needs to embrace scientific methods, doesn't it? Exactly. Maybe we'll even make a series of television shows about investigating crime. <laughs> like, specifically about the crime scenes, the people who investigate them. <laughs> Particularly but I feel like you'd only several want to do... American cities. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I feel like you'd only want to do one, though. If you start doing too many, it's just going to oversaturate the market <laughs> and really bring down the overall brand. And, you know, just thinking about it gets me so excited. I just feel like I need to... Wow! <laughs> Very good. Oh, Thank you for that. I was waiting for that. Yes, one just, just, <laughs> just like that. London, the global epicenter of culture, science, and wealth, now has a population exceeding six million. Sadly, crime in the capital is growing at a similarly startling rate. So it's imperative that we use the latest scientific methods to investigate and resolve cases as efficiently as possible. Or you could work on finding out the root causes of crime. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah, but that sounds hard. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what's known as forensic science, isn't it? Exactly, the future of policing. Ah, uh, again! <laughs> Regrettably, however, Britain is currently dragging its feet when it comes to the adoption of forensic methods. Oh dear, that's alarming. Exactly! It's extremely alarming! Ah, <laughs> uh, yet a third time! <laughs> <laughs> and yet again I say ah! If I were Her Majesty's Attorney General, you can be sure. The numbers of crimes committed and resolved in London would be very different to the you current figures. seem bro. to misunderstand what an Attorney General does. Also, bro, you you have a high standing position in like law enforcement, like what? And I can cite 12 solid arguments and 223 individual reasons to support my claim. Cool. Reason number one of 223. <laughs> I am ripped. Reason number two <laughs> of 223. I'm really ripped. Reason number three. Sorry. Of two I'll get back to those later. <laughs> By way of apology for keeping you waiting earlier, I shall detail everyone what now. What the fuck? What? Incredible. How oh, fascinating. No, Iris, don't encourage him. It all began no. 15 years ago. No way. I was, uh, <laughs> I was in West Whoa, Philadelphia. Whoa, that's so funny. Born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. And we died. When a couple of guys story. who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mother got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle to Edinburgh. And that, more or less, sums up my feelings on the matter. <laughs> In the simplest of terms, of course. All right, that was really good, Wes. <laughs> Essentially, to formally establish a forensic investigation division with Scotland Yard. That is my mission. Oh, um, right, yes, that's wonderful. Exactly. 
Wonderful is precisely what it will be. Iris isn't <laughs> paying attention at all. Oh God, she's got to know like, another book by now. That's like y'all, y'all ever get in those situations where you're in like a three-person conversation uh -huh. and one person starts talking about a whole bunch of shit, yeah. and you can tell that you and the other person don't really care, but oh, that person nightmare. makes it out of the conversation. Yeah, nightmare, dude. They nightmare. like they like find a way to like nightmare. sneakily kind of slip out, and then it's like, well, now. I I was kind of like evenly Trying distributing to go with the amount yeah. of focus, but now you've locked me in, you absolute Benedict Benedict Arnold. I wanna, yeah. How dare you just betray gotta pull me the like cord that? And, and get the parachute out. Uh huh. Is it over? Did you learn anything useful? I actually drifted off for the most part. Surprisingly ardent about forensic science. Okay, I'm. I'm assuming we have to present the fucking the paper. Yeah. 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 Oh, that reminds me. Have you seen this? The reports of the overwhelming success of the great exhibition. Of course. Uh, no, no, not that. The story on the back page. What story? The cat that's cat. missing. I know. I just can't get over the fact that I want them to talk about the missing also, cat. Also, this fucking... First off, we, we haven't acknowledged the weird hooded masked figure. Fucking Ezio Auditorio. Yes, here. straight up, which is wild. But also, like, they're surrounded by figures holding blades ready who took this fucking picture. Yeah. <laughs> It's a great shot. Oh fuck, Rainbow, yeah. the, Rainbow the the Dragon Cat says it's Chiron. That's good. <laughs> that is Chiron. Wait. wait, 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 wait. What is it? What? Look at the top. Look at the bottom left. It says skeleton captures bumbling, bumbling. burglar. <laughs> that does look like what it says. Yeah. yeah. Is there a skeleton police up skeleton, Bobby? Ooh, women what? formed a new suffragette group. That's nice. Oh, oh uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, women. Fiery, fiery, fiery ball. Fiery Good. ban. Fiery ball. I, I think it is. Oh, yeah, fiery ball. Something sets that's dance, dance hall ablaze. In a panic, suddenly flames appeared at her feet. The lady dashed madly about the whole something or something, no fewer than three something or somethings. Wow. I hope she's okay. I appreciate how they wrote articles for this. Yeah. Yeah. Good this for them. A lot yeah. of detail. The Reaper attacked. Ah, that. You've enjoyed some victories in court against my number one prosecutor, have you not? Is he your number I mean, one, though? Like four, but who's keeping count? He hasn't. He hasn't worked for five years, and then every case since then, I've beaten him. So, like, except for the one draw. Technically, it was a draw. Whatever. What <sighs> draw? Uh, technically, the Magnus McGilded case was like thrown out or some shit. No, he was not found not guilty because there's never enough evidence. When, yeah, no, we won. We won. It, I could have sworn when, there was some like weird thing of like. Still a win. Yeah, fair. Or nil. Poor Mr. Reaper. What's happened to him? He, he wasn't killed, was he? <sighs> there's no need for concern. Lord Van Zeeks would not be so easily dispatched, I assure you. Can you tell us what happened? I'd really love to know. Very well, if it interests you. It does. Strangely, I want to know if he fucking died. What are these strange... I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. I want to know if I finally get a new face in the courtroom. I've been preparing a celebratory drink for his death ever <laughs> since I first met him, and I want to know if I want to be, if I can bust out that bottle. Fortunately, Lord Van Zeeks emerged from the attack unscathed. Damn it! Damn it! 
street ruffians are no match for that man. He's well, a very he's... capable fighter. At least he's capable at one thing, because sure ain't prosecuting. Damn. Oh! <laughs> but, but that's incredible! They were armed with guns! Why was he attacked, though? Do we know? I mean, you've spent three minutes with the guy. <laughs> you don't, you realize he has a lot of enemies. And I don't just mean from the prosecutor thing. He's a dick. <laughs> it's related to events that occurred a month ago. A leader of one of the capital's criminal organizations was indicted and prosecuted by Van Zeek. Oh, so he's been trying to get wins while I've been out of a job. But the man was acquitted. I've no doubt large sums of money were involved behind the scenes. Wait, wait, wait. Isn't it your job to, like, not let shit like this happen? You're the chief justice, right? Like, okay. Because, because, no, because the large amounts of money went to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> large sums of money? A deplorable situation. Members of the jury were bribed, it seems. However, despite winning his freedom, the man in question met a dramatic end yesterday. Oh, okay, so they're going to keep going on the whole curse of the Reaper, yeah. But... But you're not suggesting that it was the work of the Reaper, surely? The victim's henchmen certainly seem to think so. He was a man by the name of Assman. God damn it. Mr. Odie Assman. Did... Did you say Assman? <laughs> Me too! <laughs> we have so much in common! <laughs> That's the man who died in the big explosion of the Great Expedition. Yes. Known publicly as an investor, but in reality, the head of a significant criminal organization. Unbelievable! I wonder, could I ask you something, Lord Strongheart? No. Try. <laughs> I like this response. Try me. Yeah, it's a powerful response. Yeah. Why do you use Lord Van Zeeks as a prosecutor? All the criminals who manage to get off in court then meet with mysterious ends outside the courtroom. And fearful of that fate, they seek to strike at Lord Van Zeeks first. I know there's no evidence that he actually is the Reaper in that sense, but still... Something's clearly going on here. Is your watch okay? <laughs> I have Van Zeke's work for the prosecution service for two reasons. Firstly, the man is the best prosecutor in the capital, bar none. Damn. He keeps losing to a rookie. You guys really should find a better best prosecutor. And secondly... Any deaths of criminals that have occurred outside the courtroom following his trials are nothing to do with him. But that doesn't make sense! How can you explain the way that so many have died if not by someone's hand? Van Zeeks may have earned himself the moniker of the Reaper, but he is no killer. So he will continue to prosecute on behalf of the Crown. Unless he wishes otherwise, of course. Hmm. Oh shit, is Van Zeeks being forced to be a prosecutor? Hmm. Could be. Yeah, that could be a that could be a twist. Well, I must be leaving for my next engagement. I'm already 11 hours and 16 minutes late. My colleagues may be starting to fidget. Wait, how long was he talking to us? Jesus God! Oh, by the way, your... The trial already happened. The guy you were supposed to find has already been found guilty. I, uh, You're no longer a lawyer. Goodbye. I Whoa. probably shouldn't have kept you talking for, you know, all those hours. <laughs> 11 hours late? That's... 
quite something. That meeting had already started when I arrived back here for this engagement with you. So lateness was inevitable. Time stops for no man. I'm sure it stopped for me during those 12 solid arguments and 223 reasons. Oh, uh, yes. Where would I find Lord Van Zeeks now? I would assume he's at his office. Ooh. Is it a coffin in a castle? <laughs> <laughs> How right. did you know? I'll go and ask him about the attack in person. I almost read that as, I'll go attack him in person. Thank God. <laughs> I want to get I this really straight hope from his the horse's mouth. I really hope his office has, like, a bunch of teddy bears and flowers around. That'd be funny. That would be, I really hope his office has a uh, steel samurai statue in the background. I really Fuck hope his yeah. office is entirely Japanese-themed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Away with you now. I'm leaving Professor Hairbrain's defense entirely in your hands. I like that you had to like slow down because you're like, wait, is that really the fucking name? <laughs> yeah, I literally, I literally was like, yeah, no, that is his name. Of, of course, yes. Thank you very much, my lord. Okay. Okay. Hey. We're going to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah, yeah. We can talk to the nerd some other time. <laughs> we there, talk, we there's a little Iris thing down here. Don't forget to take me with you when you go. Yeah, Iris, I'm not going to leave you here, <laughs> you 10-year-old child. Yeah, right. Don't put it past me. Okay, that's uh, it's about how I expected what I, ex what I expected, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm not really shocked <laughs> on this I one. Think I mean, this looks like it's the same shape as Gant's office. Kind little, of, yeah. Little, yeah. Just, like repla just replace the, the giant. Side. Just replace the giant painting with an organ. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, the, the, some, all bra the, some all brown the stains on the walls, and you know, it's Gant's office. So this is the legendary Reaper's office. Yes, it appears so. Well, it sends a chill down your spine, doesn't it? It's an amazingly death deathly atmosphere. That's a weird thing to say. Oh, is that Oh Oh god. That hooded figure was so still I hadn't noticed his or her presence. I wonder who it is. What are you doing here? God damn it. Oh Hooded Swedish Oh no, it's you. <laughs> oh no! He's as unwelcoming as I thought he'd be. Actually, maybe even more so. Oh, I, um... I'm glad to see you're well. I am. Okay, well, we'll be going then. <laughs> okay, bye. That's, I guess, all I was here for. So, who's the person over by the wall being punished for something or other? <laughs> no punishment is taking place here. But he's sitting in the corner. Ye yet. <laughs> oh. That's my apprentice. That's oh. my apprentice. Whoa. And he's sitting there of his own free will. <laughs> oh. I didn't know you had an apprentice. It must be the same person who is pictured the in the newspaper. The master always takes a student. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, he's a Sith Lord. Have you ever have you ever heard the tale of Darth Van Zeeks the Wise? <laughs> oh, no. It's on. not a... A pro of Prosecutor Plagueis. <laughs> it's yeah. not a story the Lord Chief Justice would have told you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very, he's very able and compact. A requisite skill for anyone under my tutelage. Dog, literally what? That's not what your job is. Are you referring to the attack on the Reaper that was reported in the paper? You can say the attack on your life, not the Reaper, like he's a different <laughs> person, Ryan. I have a name. The Reaper. I'd be interested to know the Reaper's true identity myself. 
assuming, that is, such a fabled fiend genuinely inhabits our great courtrooms. Well, if you're going to let us talk to you, then let's do it. Lord Strongheart said that the assault last night was some sort of revenge attack. True. Carried out by a henchman of Odi Assman's criminal organization. Okay, we're definitely we, we're hard committing to Assman now. That's this is this is our Bruce maybe Goodman of this maybe, game. Maybe he shouldn't have been named Assman. Here. You know what? He called Assman. <laughs> Preach. Good. Good counterpoint. <laughs> The investigation meant their arrests were imminent. Presumably, some hoped to kill me before that happened. Odi Assman. <laughs> He's always masqueraded as one of London's most powerful financiers. A global investor. But he's always been a dirty ass man when it comes down to it. Whoa, whoa, don't kink shame Van Zeeks. But his enormous ass, I mean wealth, came to him by underhand means, via his criminal activities. And he used that money to buy himself a verdict of not guilty when he found himself in court, didn't he? Being prosecuted by you, Mr. Reaper. But the man got his comeuppance in the end. Yesterday, in fact, in extraordinary circumstances, it was a most unusual cause of death. I, I... sent my apprentice after him. <laughs> oh, shit. I... I know about that. It was a super high-voltage instantaneous kinesis gone wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what, Ryan? Say that. Say that ten times fast. Mr. Assman died when the demonstration on the public experimentation stage ended in an enormous explosion. Correct. This is so weird because this is literally like if someone was going to test teleportation, like they got Jeff Bezos to do it, yeah. and then just and then just fucking exploded. That's, and Pridge, would you believe it or not? But that literally is the first ten minutes of Professor Layton and the Unwound Future. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. They try the time travel, the Prime Minister of England. Why would he be the first person you run this experiment with? It makes uh -huh. no sense. I mean, they did send Bezos to space, but that wasn't using, like, brand new technology. No, no, we know no, how yeah. spaceships work. <laughs> God Apologist makes a good point, saying, I think we should use billionaires for experiments. Oh, okay, yeah, And I support should. that. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. Forget animal yeah. cruelty. Give us billionaire cruelty. Fucking beam the rich, man. Beam the rich. And you think I have some kind of divine ability to cause an accident like that to happen, do you? Well, no, but that, I mean, that, that does seem a little far-fetched. I knew you were going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. Ha! Yeah. If this man really is the fabled Reaper, then he has to be innocent of this particular death, at least. It's strange how this has worked out, isn't it, Runa? I mean, what, with you taking on the professor's defense for the final, for the trial tomorrow? What? You're going to be defending him. Yeah, did you miss me? Oh, <laughs> yes, that's right. Though I barely know the man's name yet, to be honest. Albert. Okay. Albert Hairbrain. I said I barely knew it. I, I did know it, though. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> Do you know him by any chance? <gasps> of course. We were roommates. In the <gasps> brand new sitcom, Coming to Freeform. He's a contemporary of mine. We were at university together. You're... What? You went to college? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> 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 Nothing, you just... 
you know, don't seem like someone who d did that. <laughs> I understand that Professor Hairbrain was from Germany, though. And you love their science. Hairbrain's from a respectable British family. Oh. After graduating from the University of London, he moved to Germany to carry out research. That's all. Oh, okay. So, you were students together? I was in the Faculty of Law, of course, and he in science, so our paths rarely crossed. But curiously, we got along, though I've not met him since my university days. I certainly didn't expect our next encounter to take this form. And with you, of all people, representing him. Uh, only if I make it out of this office alive. <laughs> He's actually been charged with murder, it seems. Yes, I know. Because the prosecution will be handled by me. Ryan, if you act surprised in this moment, I will bury you. Fuck you. <laughs> but you! <laughs> But, but you made it sound as if you and the professor had been friends. We are friends, it's true. This is how I treat my friends. <laughs> <laughs> then why would you do this? If the Reaper is the prosecutor, there's nothing anyone can do to save him. He's doomed. Iris, literally, what have I done for this entire game series? I mean, I think she means the Reaper's curse. Right, right, right. Still. But again, Natsume is still alive, to the best of our yeah, knowledge, so we broke yeah. that already. Yep. Yeah. What's Lord Van Zeke's thinking? We'll have to Reaper. sync with him. What do you mean by what you said before? If you'd like, if you'd like to know the Reaper's true identity, does that mean? Ryan, he's yeah, not going to admit to being the Reaper, even if he is. Like, what? I'm a crown prosecutor and a mortal like any other. I mean, it's only a I'm nickname. I'm no demi -god. You can admit to having a nickname. Yeah. But they've all died, haven't they? Except for Natsume and Gina. Someone <laughs> yeah. else died. Yeah. But they've all died, haven't they? The people you've prosecuted, I mean? Whether or not the trial ended in a conviction or an acquittal. <laughs> Those I prosecute are the vilest wretches of our society. Okay, well... Except the ones that I've proven that are innocent. People who without question deserve to be found guilty. Except for the, the people world. I found innocent. Yeah. <laughs> the world is a better place without them. Except for the people I've found innocent. But that's not true of Mr. Natsume, for example. Hey. He wasn't a vile wretch at all. But Worse. he was a Nipponese. Worse. He was <laughs> Nipponese. God. God. Yes. God. No, it was Ginny. In fact, she's ever so hardworking now. I cannot wait for us to find out what Ginny's up to and that she is definitely an investigator now. And that she's definitely a cop. I know. Yes, but she's a cop now. So. Okay, wow. <laughs> I can't deny that since I encountered you, things have taken a turn. But the point is this. Stabs us. <laughs> Do you like my point? <laughs> if any of those vile wretches that escaped justice subsequently died in mysterious circumstances... Dog, you're doing a bad job at making it seem like it wasn't you. Your your fault. It was at the hand of their own kind. It's not my work. Lord Strongheart said the same. He believes you're not involved in any way. But you were attacked by those ruffians because they believe it's true. <laughs> the fact is... Since people started to call me the Reaper of the Bailey, the number of serious crimes in the capital has dropped substantially. It? 
Maelstrom just say crime's rising a bunch? Yeah, first off, that also, statistically, I mean, this is more of a modern day thing. Like, capital punishment is not a deterrent to crime. No, it's not. It's been proven, yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know about this one, dog. Oh. It would appear. Well, let's be honest. Most... Vanzix would be a Republican, and all Republicans think tough on crime <laughs> policies work, so. Vanzix would be saying law and order. Yeah. <laughs> we live in and, a society. And not just I... the show. Until until Maelstrom got indicted or something, then he'd be like, "Oh no, no witch hunts." <laughs> okay, to be fair, midnight midnight fox is preach. To be fair, he would be a Tory. <laughs> it's just yes, that's correct. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm sorry. British Conservative I I, Party. Yes. Sorry, I don't know what your I don't know what your weird British <laughs> political parties are. You, you have more than two parties. What we can't conceive of it. It would appear that even the most hardened criminals can be made fearful for their lives. Do you mean to say... I mean to say that if my pseudonym serves a useful purpose, I adopt it gladly and with honor. But it's putting you in danger! You could be killed! If that is my fate... Let God decide. Okay, that's a kind of a metal line, actually. I'm, I'm going to give him yeah. that one. <laughs> oh, Van Zeeks. That was pretty fucking metal, bro. That was rad. <laughs> All right, let's 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 start looking at things. Yeah, uh, we need to examine everything. Let's look at as many chalices. Yeah. This is like as many chalices he breaks in one case. Look at that fine collection of yeah, hollow chalices. Yeah, he, refill, he refills it after every case. <laughs> Look at that fine collection of hallowed chalices and bottles neatly lined up there. My hallowed bottles are filled with the essence of the finest grapes from the finest vineyards I visit. Then why do you fucking... Okay. You know what? That's a, that's a rad way to call wine. Essence of grape. I mean, I, I guess. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Feel also like the I, world's most pretentious Somalia. Yeah, would say. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like the essence Pritch, of Pritch. Which, to be fair, that's all Somalias. Uh, that's not necessarily true. I knew a couple. I, of, I, I actually know two Somalias, and they're actually relatively down to earth people. I guess most of the ones I've known have been just the worst, but that's fair. <laughs> And I personally oversee these chalices being made by the finest crystal craftsman in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Iris. Thank you. And yet you throw them around in court like they were worthless. Yes, because this imbecile is so unimaginably and repeatedly wide of the mark sometimes. My guy! I... Don't you often throw those when I get things right and burn you? <sighs> no, Ryan, you don't need to be like, oh, like what? Before you open your mouth next time, you should consider the poor artisans whose work you defile. They literally choke on I'm, I'm cheesed. I'm, I'm fucking, he's, he's dude, rustled, just, he's rustled my just, jimmies. Just choke on a bag of dicks. So, it's my fault. The saddest backstory of all time, and I seriously would not care. Silly me! How could I have ever thought otherwise? <laughs> Chess player. Lord Van Zeke's desk. Look, it's so stylish. And that's a marble chess set beside it. Chess. That's the Western version of our Japanese shogi game, isn't it? You know, I'm actually quite good at shogi problems. Oh, really? You'd probably like chess problems then, in that case. I'd love to challenge Lord Van Zeek sometime to a bout of shogi problems. Not just shogi? Yeah. Man, shogi is way more complicated yeah. than chess, man. The, yeah. little, the little bit I know of shogi, I was like, ah, this is, I can't touch this, holy shit. Hey, listen, I've played enough Yakuza games that I know how to play oh, shogi and mahjong yeah. now. I watched an anime about shogi. Ugh. Oh. It was really good. 
if you only really want to challenge yourself, you can always do that in your own home. Uh, oh, whoops. Also, I don't know if we've acknowledged it, but this having the, the giant laser beam with a little man in front of it is pretty funny. <laughs> that is That's that is good. cute. Oh, there's a balloon, too. Yeah. Oh, look! It's a scale model of the Great Expedition Showground. That's amazing! I wonder why it's here. Perhaps he managed to take his mind off the sadness Aww. of being too busy to attend in person. Aww. What did you see? And you were responding to Sophie's uh, thing? No, just that line. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that is really sad shit. <laughs> Perhaps he's too embarrassed to <laughs> queue up for a ticket. The idea of Van Zeke's being like, I will not wait in line. I need my Surely fast pass. <laughs> Surely it's obvious that I'm using it as an investigative aid. You Nipponese have no business painting others as overly reserved. My fucking guy. Uh, I really didn't think he'd overhear that. That portrait really dominates the room, doesn't it? Okay, Jesus Christ. That is a brutally good-looking person, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> Giving us those eyes. Fuck me. Uh, it's a very majestic outfit and pose. But sadly, it belongs to a racist. Whoever painted it didn't do a very good job at capturing Lord Van Zeek's facial features. Yes, you're right. I mean, it's not far off. The artist has exaggerated his subject's handsomeness, I think. He was handsome Damn. five years ago before something terrible happened, which also involved a Japanese person, which is why he hates all Japanese people. Oh, man, do you think a Japanese person gave him his scar? Probably. Oh, that reminds me. I had Emperor Napoleon of France ordered artists to paint, make, it, make him look more attractive when they painted him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, fucking, and taller, like what? And taller. I mean, Napoleon it's, wasn't that short. That's true. Yeah, Napoleon was not short compared to his contemporaries. He no. he was a very normal yeah. height. He was the average height uh, for a French man of that era. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like he was what, like five seven, five six. Yeah, I think it was five like seven that. or five eight. Yeah. Yeah. How vain! That's really not an attractive quality in a person, is it? That portrait is, does not depict me. Surely that's immediately obvious. Oh, then who is it? Are they single? Are they racist? It's my cool younger brother. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't mean to click that, but... <laughs> the idea of being like his cool younger brother. Chill, game. I'm just scrolling around. I'm not trying to click. All right, let's look at his apprentice. Also, there's literal bats. Oh, we can examine the bats. I'm sorry. There's literal. Okay. Ah, oh God. Jesus, fuck you, game. Ah, they were bats. Yes. Jump scare. The reaper's familiars, I expect. That's funny. But. What about the mute man in the dark cloak? I thought he was the familiar. Just not the flying kind. He must be a dear friend of Mr. Reaper, then. They're very familiar with each other. <laughs> I think the familiar idea is more likely. Scary, though, either way. All right, let's let's look at this jabroni boy. Oh, you, you can look uh, at the, okay. the barrels. We'll look at, yeah. Look at all those ancient casks lining the wall there. Casks in the Reaper's chamber. Or are they caskets? No. Uh. You, you don't think there's a body in every one. All those people who escaped 
conviction in court <laughs> are lying inside them dead, do you? Did you see her, like, yeah. slow? <laughs> that was so funny. What ridiculous notions are going through your head, man? This is my collection of fine vintages. I do, I do appreciate us, like, looking at things and making remarks and Van Zeeks just be like, What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> I'm just a regular creepy racist man. I'm just, we're just normal men. We're just we're innocent, just innocent men. <laughs> oh, yes, uh, of course. Thank you for clearing that up. Reaper and I were just musing to ourselves. Don't mind us, Mr. Reaper. I wouldn't if you hadn't invited yourselves to my office to talk nonsense within my earshot. All right, let's, let's talk to mysterious person. It really does look like a punishment to me. He's sitting there, dude. I'm so confused. What part is a punishment? He's just sitting there. I've never seen someone sitting like that before. Also, somebody sitting on like a pillow on the floor is distinctly not British at all. Uh-huh. What? So... What, what? But what country does sit like that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't Prince. Know. <laughs> he hasn't moved a muscle since we've arrived. Do you think perhaps he's dead? <laughs> if he was dead, Bruno, he wouldn't be sitting upright, would he? Well, anyway, dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball, he's not overly approachable, is he? I don't think he's going to talk to us. He's not dead. I'm not dead. Okay, well shit, I guess we can't talk I'm to him. I'm not dead yet. Uh, I think that's it then. Uh, yeah. We might Unless there's another present. thing. Oh, can we present the newspaper to him? Somebody did say present on the newspaper to everybody. Um, I know you've seen this around my arm before, but... What is it exactly? It's the mark of a defense lawyer. In Japan, at least. And what's your reason for showing it to a British prosecutor? Oh, I just think it's well, kind of cool. I don't know, really. I thought you might appreciate it. I can understand, at least. Okay, we're getting somewhere. There's merit in reminding yourself of who helped you become what you are today. Oh. But that's a personal matter. Mm. Something you may want to keep close at all times. Not something to flaunt. Okay, okay, backstory, foreshadowing. No, I suppose not. Thank you for understanding, though. Oh, we got an achievement for we that. Got an achievement. Inspirational oh, wow. roots. Uh, just to see if we get something from this. Lord Van Zeeks. About this article in the paper. Ah, yes. It seems there was a reporter nearby when that little skirmish took place. <clears throat> I had no idea I'd been photographed. It was careless of me. If I'd known, I would have killed them, too. <laughs> I mean, damn it. Got me again. <laughs> It looks as though it was taken after the people who attacked you had run away, though. Rest assured, the police have already apprehended every last one of them. But there's someone else fighting alongside you, it seems. Yeah, Ryan, who the fuck do you think it is? Okay, good. <laughs> and I think, Zack, it's the same man who's sitting over there as we speak, isn't it? As I mentioned already, he's my apprentice. Perhaps you could tell us a little more about him. Why he's sitting uh, like that, for example. He's in my tutelage to become a prosecutor. So you could say he's my apprentice, I suppose. 
As I've already, as I've already said many times. Oh, like you are to holy then, Runo? No, not not in the slightest. <laughs> I don't remember taking an apprenticeship with a great you're, detective. You're not becoming a great detective. Hmm. He's currently compiling a report about last night's attack. Well, actually, I think he's napping right now. So I haven't seen him move in a while. He looks like he's wearing some sort of mask. On Lord Strongheart's orders. What? Nobody knows the man's face. Or indeed, his identity. The chief prosecutor ordered this man to wear a mask in his day-to-day -day life? Can he do that? But I'm sorry that my horrible ugliness is preventing <laughs> you from solving crimes. <laughs> That's all right. Wear this mask. But why would you agree to take on such a clearly suspicious individual? Lord Strongheart's orders again. He's not one for meaningless follies. There will be a good reason for his actions. I hope you're right. Oh. Uh. Oh my uh. god. <laughs> Hi. We weren't talking about you or anything. Uh. The task is complete. Good. In that case, you can collate all the briefs. Nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Bye, that was fun. Back to work again. That was really strange though. Yeah, Ryan. I've never met the man before. I didn't know I didn't even know he existed. And yet somehow it didn't feel like our first encounter. Oh my gosh, it's Magnus McGildan! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't recognize him without the hat on. Don't bother trying to converse with him. He says nothing to anybody from outside this office. Lord Strongheart has strictly forbidden. Again, what? Oh, I see. Why are you so interested in my apprentice anyway? Because, like, I haven't seen you in six months, and this is, like, a new development. I don't know. Oh, no, I, I mean, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. The way he stood there so casually, yet with that flawless posture. Oh, no, he's hot. It... It couldn't be. Oh, it's shit. It's Dr. Gregson. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he'd be eating fish and chips if that was the case. Mm. He didn't have that distinct salty smell. <laughs> ah, yes. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Oh? What's that? Dirty Nippany, say what? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that Nipponese man. Is he faring well? Sorry. The one arrested twice in succession six months ago. With the stoop and the moustache and the jitters. Uh, Mr. Natsume, you mean? Yeah, he fucking fled the country because of you, bro. I'm not sure he'd be very pleased to find you identified him from that list for now. He's fine, thank you. In fact, I received a letter from him by International Post only the other day. Good. Could I see that letter so I can see the return address? <laughs> I see. Well, I think we can end our discussion there, don't you? There's little time left before tomorrow's trial. I advise you spend it investigating the case. Yes. Thank you for the advice. And for the conversation. I can't believe he's asking after Suseki-san. After a Nipponese! I'm not sure whether to feel happy about that or 
worried. I never imagined that Mr. Reaper would be friends with a mad scientist, did you? That's a turn up for the books. A turn up for the turn up book? Mad scientist? Oh, you mean Professor Hairbrain? Yes, it might be worth quizzing the professor about his relationship with Lord Van Zeeks, I think. I mean, right. folks, I feel like that's a perfect stopping point before yeah. we go talk to Hairbrain, huh? Yeah, for sure. Huh? Yeah, it's almost. Yeah. Okay. Next time we go talk to Hairbrain, we meet we meet the brain we, the brain boy. Yeah, we meet the uh, accused. Folks, that is gonna do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer again. If you like this, you can follow us on twitch.tv slash save the team. Watch us live, which uh, this is really fun. We, we uh, Right now we're at 239 viewers. You can join them uh, and joke with us in the chat, which is a lot of fun. And uh, support us on patreon.com slash save the team uh, where your money go goes directly to us or buy yourself some coffee at Javi with our exclusive code, which will be linked down below. Uh, and that also supports us. So thank you very much. But until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Starting off art this week, Herlock Gnomes. So my friend was playing this case. So the victim looked like Hugh Neutron, Jimmy Neutron's dad, and asked me to draw it. And... Wow. And the ducks too. Really good. It's a... <laughs> well, hey there, hair brain. Wow. Uh, also, this this like color of of like Gina stuff is really really good, really cool, really cool yeah, stuff. Really cool. Heck yeah! Toads and Moss with no DL six stuff. He he. Miles, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the Megatama to spot lies, but I guess glaring at people until they tell tell the truth works too. He's on the third day of the trial and he's done with lying witnesses. Uh, this is so good. Like the lighting on this is fantastic. Uh, yeah, very he's got, spooky. The, he's got the Danny, the Danny Phantom eyes. Yeah, he's going ghost. <laughs> he's going ghost on your ass. Uh, this is awesome, Toads and Moss. Thank you. Just a random idiot with Gandhi Ace Attorney two years ago today. So to celebrate, I redrew this again because it was the first thing I drew when I finished the first game. The second image is our redraws I drew in the past two years with the top version having drawn a year ago. Wow. I mean, I remember you sending one of these in, I believe. Yeah. At the very least, and like, yeah, like holy guacamole! The change again. I love y'all drawing like like redrawing stuff to see yeah. like how much you've grown explicitly. But like, that's so awesome! Congratulations, it's just really random cool. idiot. I hope I hope you feel good. Yeah, for uh, sure about your progress. Uh, Mina, with I hopefully to show some TGAA art next week. But I've been wondering, have y'all discussed who's going to be voicing Apollo when you get into the game? I don't know. I think it'd be cool if Wes voiced the main character, but Zach's impression of Apollo would be fun to hear too. And that's how this masterpiece was created. Uh, we haven't talked about it. Um, I imagine we stick with the similar structure just because it, it's easy. But I will also have to voice Phoenix who does become his own character in that game. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. Phoenix. Uh, but also this art of both me and Wes as Apollo is really, really cool. Thank you for this. Really good. Also, like, goddamn, you made me look pretty fucking cool, and I'll take that to the bank. <laughs> hey, look, yeah, man. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo has... I, I love oh, He's Apollo got a great outfit. fit, like, for sure. Oh, for, for sure. sure. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you, Mina. Biggie Cheese with the congrats on making it to my favorite case ever. I drew some highlights in the beginning of the case beginning of this crazy ass case one is Sholmes's line about Ryunosuke being a manservant leads me to believe this is how the past six months went for him <laughs> and why my dear fellow aren't you in uniform <laughs> comes back with the main outfit on listen don't tell me I'll go get it bullying Van Zeeks in his own office is one of the best scenes in the series and I live for it <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying in the back. Yeah. Get out of my office. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you, Biggie Cheese. Finally, the trio is complete. Barrack definitely is something for blondes, and I'm not going to elaborate. <laughs> yes. 
my three girlfriends, and yes, they smoke weed. Incredible. Thank you for recreating the poses of those girls in that picture so uh -huh. perfectly. Holy shit. Uh, and some mascot ships. <laughs> Aww. These are oh my god, the Susato and Raymond Bami one is really cute. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> I love these, James. Thank you. And Val draws the main character for once, not clickbait. This is it, right? This is the Ben Barrow dynamic. Albert's Japanese name is Benjamin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh all right, here, we, here we go. Uh we'll play this video on three. One, two, three. <laughs> He later, uh -huh. what was it? He later died uh -huh. of something poison, a food poisoning. <laughs> uh, Ace Attorney Prison comic. This one's titled "Making Red Suffer Romantically" is fucking hilarious, and I won't hesitate to do it. First of all, you funny looking. Second of all, I want you. <laughs> I just do not know what I am doing wrong, Miss May. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Uh, the gang's all here to watch the Barbie movie. Yo! This is so good. You okay, drew them all. The Barbie movie, please. Oh, my God. It's everyone. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we got to roll up like this when we watch the Barbie movie. Fuck yeah. There's no other way to roll up. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck. Step letter says even Ken Dingling is there. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Mocha with haven't drawn Iris much, so I thought this would be a good time. Yeah. Wow. Nice. I'm yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm going to say we get some Iris in her new outfit. We get some. I, 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 I can't think of the last time you drew a character that wasn't Rinosuke or Kazuma, so. <laughs> this is exciting. So there it's a very good actress. Yeah, it's, and it's also really cute. It's also really cute. I'm dunking on you a little bit, but it's really good. So, heck yeah, thank you. Throw with Today Marks Apollo Justice being out for 16 years and also marks the day Oshinoko anime released. So celebratory art featuring Clavier. Yeah. I mean, I like, I Ooh, love this Clavier. Cool. I love the eyes too. The eyes are really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, these are sick. Cool seeing the inspo, the inspo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you, Throw. Less with stupid smart man in various colors. Second time ever posting art for stream. The last time was like a year and a half ago, but I love this dumbest so much I had to do something. Thank you, Les. Nice. Yeah. I, listen, I love me some, uh, what's the name of that artist who did shit like this all the time? Did the Campbell Soup Cans, uh, pop art. Oh, God. Andy Warhol. It, it's very Andy Warhol-esque. Warhol uh, and I like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with minor spoilers till after stream. Barrett can't use mirrors because he's a vampire, so naturally he has a new assistant drawn so he can tell what he looks like for court. Text and joke mostly from what we do in the Shadows movie. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, good. <clears throat> you have to look tempting. Kind of a trap for humans. But you are also the hallowed bait. But it's kind of hard to tell what you look like. <laughs> you have to look like something they want like a sandwich, and then they come up to you, but actually the sandwich is going to eat you. You are the learned sandwich. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I haven't seen the, the what we do in the Shadows movie, but everything I've seen of it is so good, of the, of the series yeah. is so funny. Oni, with I've only posted every like twice, but it's finally time to share one of my favorite characters. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's awesome. He's happy. Yeah. I'm excited to meet him it's next cool. time. <laughs> it, yeah, I was going to say, it's so cool that everybody, so many people really like him. Yeah, everybody characters. loves this dude. Cansome Kakagori, uh, what are you, an idiot sandwich? <laughs> Made another right worth because they're always on my mind. I wanted to make it sort of angsty, but at the end I realized this kind of pose looked kind of Gordon Ramsay's idiot sandwich meme. It does a little bit. <laughs> but it's really good. It's so cute though, yeah. Wow, it's like watercolor God, Yeah, I was going to say, the watercolor really look is awesome. Really, really good. Heck yeah. It's very pretty. It's Thank gorgeous. you for this. Uh, you know, I completely forgot about Facade until Val's drawing of Shamsby a few weeks back, so here's Ryu's POV after entering Van Zeke's own office to talk shit about the painting. <laughs> <laughs> 
God, thank you. Melon. Thank you so much for bringing back Facade into my memory. Y'all, it's so good. The faces in this game are buck wild and very funny to me. Society with y'all, I finally come full circle. If you remember, my first foray into emulating other art styles for the stream was Squidward as Manzix. <laughs> now you've seen the other half of this game, Squid Bob. So I finally get around to drawing him. Sponge Burt. Square brain. Square brain. <laughs> That's really good. That's incredible. It's really good. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, society. It's really good. SpongeBob Square brain. The fact that he has a square head is even better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're listening to Dorker, the '70s buddy cop Manfred and Gant. Been a minute since I've done anything related to that. Yeah. What we got oh, here? Shit. Uh, okay. But a few more images and I'll have a case. What is that incessant noise? Hey, Manny! Gah! How goes investigating? You know what? I'll join you in a sec anyway, so... Eh? Where are you off to? Where are you going, Manny? <laughs> Sometime later. Stop telling people we're friends. You know what? I'm going to tell the precinct we're friends even harder. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Uh, six with Ben Barrow, tee -hee. They're so cute. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, I'm excited to, to learn more about their name. Also, I love I love their outfit swap picture. That's really good. <laughs> Agent, Agent Shifter, what if Miles and Barrick are related with vampire logic? Whoa, this is really good. Also, also, baby Miles, uh, vampire is Dude, really cute. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. really good. <laughs> yeah, Agent Shifter, thank you for this. Uh, King Kieran with have fairy eyes from the Kirby Ace Attorney Crosser alternate universe. Yeah, Aww. I love all these. I love all these. So, well, no I mean, surprise, honestly... I still love this one. <laughs> oh no, Sophie with my favorite streamers, Saber Danger. Here's some doodles I did just before the stream and during. <laughs> uh, that's me that's me racking my brain uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> me taking a selfie with the sword on on the chat's uh shoulders <laughs> Bridge. Bridge is... girlies we need to talk <laughs> god damn it girlies we... oh that's me sorry oh my god girlies we need to talk I do be like that. Uh, <laughs> and me in the Yamcha death pose because I'm six foot three compared to Barrack Von Zeek six foot four. To be fair, I'm <laughs> only six foot two. I will not add an extra fake inch to my height, but I mean, I'll add an extra fake inch elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Hey, baby. Uh, Sophie, these are incredible. Uh,